In this video, I'm gonna show you how to properly and safely install MetaMask on your Google Chrome browser. Now, before I go ahead and dive into this, make sure you're subscribed to the Hidden Gem Network with notifications on so you get every single video that we release and you're in the know of hidden gems that are coming up. So the other thing I wanna let you know, and really quickly, is every single month we do a giveaway. This month we're holding a 500 USDT giveaway and you can learn about this giveaway and everybody's able to participate. Just take a look down in the description. All you have to do is just a few simple tasks and you have the ability to win 500 USDT completely for free and it doesn't require any paid entry. So with that being said, let's dive into how to install MetaMask safely and properly and also attach it to the Binance Smart Chain. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is make sure that you have Google Chrome installed, obviously, because it's a Google Chrome extension. So with that being said, we have our main Google Chrome profile. What I would recommend is actually creating a new profile just to house your main MetaMask. So what I do is I have multiple different profiles depending on what I'm trying to do. If I go high risk and I'm not too sure if a certain website that I'm linking my wallet up to is trustworthy, then I have a MetaMask for that particular uh, profile for that website. If I have something that I wanna buy on Uniswap for a long-term hold, I use my main profile with my main MetaMask. And you can have different MetaMasks on each profile. So how you would do that is you see right up here the little circle with the C, yours might look a little different. You actually click on that and down here, there's a little add button. As you can see, these are my other profiles that I have. So if I click on add and let me just move this over, you can go ahead and do MetaMask longer term and then just choose whatever you want and then click done so let me just do meta mask uh, let's do meta mask example i'm going to click done and now it opens up a completely new google chrome browser which means that this is a fresh profile which you can pretty much have no cookies, no previous browsing data, nothing. It's completely fresh, almost like you just bought the computer all over again. And if you wanna go back to your other profiles, you just click on the user tab, and then you just go ahead and you pick which profile that you wanna go back to. Now with that being said, let's head over to google.com first, and you always wanna just use Google to search MetaMask, and go to metamask.io. If it's an ad or anything of the sorts, don't click on any ads just click on the MetaMask, right? So you can even go to MetaMask Chrome extension and this should have over 3 million downloads. So if we click on the MetaMask extension, it'll say over 4 million users, but just in case, let's go ahead and click on metamask.io. And what you're gonna do is just click download now and install MetaMask for Chrome and it'll bring us to the same page that we were just on before. So 4 million users, what we're gonna do is we're gonna click add to Chrome. We're gonna click add extension and it's gonna go into your extensions. Now, how exactly do you see it? Well, this little gear icon, this little puzzle piece icon, click on that first, and then click on pin, the little pin, so it pins it to the top. Now, this is important. We're gonna go ahead and actually get a seed phrase and all that stuff to keep your wallet secure. So, we're gonna click get started, and what you're gonna do is, if you're new to creating a MetaMask wallet, you just wanna go ahead and do yes, let's get set up. But if you already have a MetaMask wallet with a seed phrase, then you're gonna to want to go ahead and import it there if that's what you're looking to do. But for now, we're creating a new one. So we're gonna create a wallet and you're just gonna click I agree. Now you're gonna to have to type in a password here. So I'm gonna type in my password. All right. And I'm gonna click I have read and agreed to the terms and I'm gonna click create. Now, this is important. This right here is your secret, uh, your secret phrase, your secret seed phrase. And I'm gonna cut this part out because this is the seed phrase that I'm gonna need to go ahead and save somewhere, uh, securely probably on a piece of paper in a safe uh, if you're gonna use this or keep it somewhere very secure. So you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna see this. You're going to write it down and it's gonna ask you to confirm that you have it written down by going and retyping it in or re-clicking on buttons. So with that being said, I wanna skip this part as I go ahead and I securely 
uh, save this for myself. So let's do this. Now this is exactly what I meant by when I said they're gonna make you confirm your seed phrase. Now this is all jumbled up. You have to put it together. So make sure you have the correct order of your seed phrase. Click on every single uh, word exactly as it appears from what they gave you in the previous step. So now I confirmed my seed phrase and it's confirmed and all we have to do is click on all done. Now you don't need to worry about this pop-up because that's for MetaMask Mobile. But now we have MetaMask installed. Now just so you know, if you hover over account one, you click copy to clipboard, this is your address to send to your Ethereum wallet as of right now. So you would send all your Ethereum and all your tokens would come here. And I'll show you how to add tokens in just a few moments. But first, let's go back to Google and just search MetaMask Binance Smart Chain. And we're going to link up our MetaMask with Binance Smart Chain so you can go ahead and start using platforms like PancakeSwap. So right now we have the ability with the Ethereum network, because that's what we're on right now, to use Uniswap and Ethereum-based uh, exchanges. So what we want to do is we want to go ahead and link our uh, Binance Smart Chain to MetaMask so we can go ahead and use platforms, like I said, like PancakeSwap. So with that being said, let's scroll down to the bottom to grab the important information. We want the mainnet information. So what we're gonna do here is we're actually gonna click on the little circle icon up here. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna click right over here, this little circle, click on settings. You're gonna go to networks on the side and then you're gonna click on add network and we're gonna follow the directions here. Network name, we're gonna call it smart chain. All right, and we're gonna grab all of this information as it's listed, okay? Now chain ID 56, so we'll just grab it, 56, BNB, and then the Explorer is right here. And now, if we click Save, now we have Smart Chain enabled. So Smart Chain right down here. So if we click X, this right here, all right, we have BNB, this is now our particular Smart Chain address on MetaMask. So we can bounce back and forth between Ethereum and Smart Chain as we want. So when you go ahead onto something like PancakeSwap, and as a matter of fact, let me show you the safest way to find these exchanges. What you can do is go to CoinGecko, and you can just type in, let's just say you wanna use PancakeSwap, so it's at cake, right? So PancakeSwap, what you're able to do is find the website, go to their website from the actual coin market cap or coin gecko listing. And then from here, what you would do is you'd click connect, you'd use MetaMask, you just click next, click connect, and your wallet is now connected and you're ready to go in and start exchanging. So actually getting funds into your account is a completely different video, but it's pretty simple. You would take something, let's just say Binance, uh, BNB. If you have BNB in your Binance account, what you would do is you would simply uh, you would simply grab this address, copy to clipboard, and then you would withdraw funds to this address and your BNB would be in here. Or if you wanna add different tokens, what you can do is the following. So let's just go back to CoinGecko. So if we go to CoinGecko, and let's just say we wanna add USDT for now. So we can go to USDT because it doesn't appear inside of our MetaMask right now. But if you send USDT to your Binance Smart Chain MetaMask, um, then it won't appear unless you actually show the token in the wallet. So how do you do that? You see the little MetaMask logo? Well, this is on your Ethereum based wallet. So we're gonna click on the three little dots and just where it says Binance Smart Chain, click on the add to MetaMask and then you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna click add token. And if we look right over here, now we have USDT installed. However, on Ethereum, it's not here. It just shows Ethereum. Right over here, still USDT, we'll click add to MetaMask, and we'll click next, connect, and now we have USDT, all right, we'll click add token. Right over here in our Ethereum wallet, we now have USDT, and you can do this with literally any token. You know, if you wanted to go ahead and use, let's just say, you know, blank, Blank's a good example because it's available on Ethereum and it's available on Binance Smart Chain. So we'd add the token. And then if I just click add to MetaMask, as a matter of fact, let me just uh, do this. And, and let me show you this. If you need to manually add in a token, how you do it is you find the contract URL, you copy the contract URL. And what you would do is you would actually go to 
uh, whatever network you're using, so in my case, Smart Chain, and I would click Add Token, and I would just paste in the address of the token. As you can see, it's blank, and I click Next, click Add Token, and now blank is inside of my Smart Chain, and it's inside of my Ethereum MetaMask. So it works on both. You can buy it on Uniswap, and you can buy it on PancakeSwap. So that's essentially how you go ahead and download MetaMask safely and only use this profile on your Google Chrome browser for this wallet. Don't do anything else except just house this wallet on there. All right. So with that being said, that's exactly how you create a MetaMask safely, link it up with Binance Smart Chain and add tokens or coins into your wallet so you can go ahead and start exchanging. So again, you can use PancakeSwap for the Binance Smart Chain or you can use uh, Uniswap, uh, one inch, other exchanges for Ethereum as well. With all that being said, that's it for this video. My name's Dan from the Hidden Gem Network. Don't forget to partake in our 500 USDT giveaway. The link's in the description down below and enjoy your gains. I'll catch you soon.